Miguel and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today we're going to make a little hors d'oeuvre. We're going to make a zucchini pizza. They're just little snacks that you can serve instead of grabbing those potato chips or, or actual pizzas and that kind of stuff. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So I washed up my zucchini and I'm going to just slice my zucchini up into a quarter inch slices. And we're just going to use one zucchini. It depends on how much you're going to have for, for a company as to how much you're going to make, but we're just going to use the one zucchini for this recipe. So I ended up with around 28 slices. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this on the barbecue again. You have your options. You can do it on the barbecue or you can do it on the in the oven. Now if you're in the oven, I'm only just going to suggest it's very good just um, broiling it. So what you're doing is you're, you're melting all your cheese and getting your ingredients hot on top. Now because I'm using a Teflon barbecue tray that I've been using through the summer, I will put it on the tray and we're going to cook them on the barbecue this time around. Now I'm going to use my marinara sauce. This recipe is on my site and what I'll do is I will put the link to this recipe, which I always do, on the YouTube, the video, and you can go and you can Click the link and it will show you how to make my marinara sauce. It's very, very good. I absolutely love it. You can make it with fresh tomatoes or you can um, make it with canned tomatoes. And I use the canned tomato just because it's easier. It's usually winter time I, that I use the can. In the summertime I use fresh. But um, fresh is a lot easier because you don't have to blanch, peel, cook up the tomatoes but it is healthier if you do it all from scratch if you have that time. So I am putting not even a teaspoon of my marinara sauce on each cucumber and once I've got that finished then we will add on our pepperoni. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take um, my pepperettes pillars and I don't use up the whole package all the time so I put it in the freezer so it is actually, it was frozen and I have taken them and I laid them out and let them thaw out and I'm going to put a pepperoni on each one. All the pepperonis are put on the zucchini and now I'm going to use uh, mozzarella slices. Now you have the option, you can shred your mozzarella cheese or marble cheese, that's up to you and um, put them on top. Now I've cut them into fours so I've got them all cut and all I have to do is lay them on top and it's a little mini pizza made with zucchini crust which is really really awesome. And I like the mozzarella slices because they don't end up being so messy but definitely if you don't like this kind of slice you can use your shredded. So now we're going to put them on the barbecue at 400 and we're just going to let them melt the cheese and you know crust up a little bit on the bottom of the zucchini and we're all set. The temperature is at 400 and we're just going to set it on the barbecue, close the lid, and we will just kind of time it. It should probably take about 10 minutes, but I'll just time it and make sure we're all set. Now it's almost been 10 minutes, and they look awful messy, but they are so good. When you lift them out, you're not going to have all that extra cheese that's laying on top. Okay, we'll take them in now. Now I like to have them cool down. I do have a lot of cheese laying on the side, but with the Teflon it it um, whoops with the Teflon it doesn't stick, which is really really nice. But they are very tasty. 
but definitely make sure you let them cool down before you eat them. So here are my low carb pizza zucchinis. Um, they're a great appetizer and like I said we all keep wanting to go over the peanuts and the chips and that kind of stuff and this is quite healthy for you and it works really really well. Now it didn't look that great with the cheese melting all over the place but it is really good but you need to definitely let them cool down and I never really bitten into them you know to eat half I just put the whole thing in my mouth. I love them. They are so good. And the carb count is amazing also. So I suggest that you go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com try this recipe and try some of my other ones. It's really good in the oven also. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.